Okay. Um, do men prefer women that are low key on social media? It's a good question. What do you mean by on social media? Um, okay. So if I was to relate it to me, mm-hmm. um, because I have a background of modeling mm-hmm. and my social following, like it's not crazy, but it's just like, it's, it's up. It's yeah. like, it's up enough to be like, um, what, what do you do? Mm. Um, let me just look back at my question. <laughs> <laughs> How do you guys feel about a girl being on social media? Um, okay, yeah. So do men prefer women that are low-key on social media? So do girl, do guys prefer girls who are on social media and have a like a bigger influence? If I'm being... Uh, it depends on why she has the influence. Mm. But the way most girls get followers and influence on social media, it's actually the opposite. Guys prefer a girl who's very not that mm. like i said it depends why so for example modeling's different if you have professional model shots i think that's different because it's like okay she's a professional but a lot of girls build a following because they have the best thirst traps yeah they're showing the most do you know what i mean and while that's attractive in a sense a guy will go oh yeah i look at her and yeah i'd be I'd have fun with her. Mm. It's very much the case that it, if it looks like a girl seeks a lot of male validation, even if it's just to make her look good, that's a quality that a man doesn't want in a girlfriend. Mm. And what, what what would those be? No, just so like, for example, if a girl posts half naked, like all her photos are half naked photos online. Cool. Uh, well, like you can tell someone's got a very thirst trappy profile. Like so many girls who have OnlyFans, for example, yeah. you know what kind of profile that looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Like four out of every five shots is her in underwear. But like if if it's not everything and depends on how, like it's different of her taking like, a, like an underwear shot of her, like a mirror selfie. And then if she's like modeling lingerie. Okay, yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Because yeah, okay. one's like very professional. And one is like the intention, it, the intention for like, a, for validation and like the thirst trappiness is just way more obvious mm. and way more clear in one. Yeah. So if a girl has a, ve- is, if her profile is very much like that, a lot of guys be like, okay, she seeks a lot of male validation. And a girl who seeks a lot of male validation often puts herself in, in environments that provide risk to the relationship. Yeah, yeah, I agree with and that. And that's something that guys just don't like. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's not, it's the same as like, if you see a guy's profile and majority of his photos are him posed next to a nice car or like a plane, mm. like a private plane or whatever, like, or posting like fancy watches or something. It says a certain thing that this is how he's chosen to represent himself to the world. Mm. But it's very different if, okay, he's got a photo of him in a nice car. He's got a professional photo of him at an event. He's got another photo of him on a holiday. He's got another photo of him maybe with his top off, like in like, I don't know, at the beach, mm. right? Then he's got another photo of him, like, oh, I'll just treat myself to this new jewelry, whatever. It's very different. I think consistency of photos says a lot about the person. Yeah, yeah, I sense? agree with that, yeah. So I don't think guys go, oh, she's got a big following that makes her more attractive. I think it's more how she got the following. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. I yeah. mean, I guess I should ask you, like what, what kind of, um, what does a guy's profile say about him to you? Like, what do you look at and what kind of, I would say judgments, but assessments do you make? Yeah, no, I agree. This, I, I actually agree. Um, mm. I, that's one thing that I get very anxious about with my social media. Um, and it's that I feel like sometimes I'm unapproachable because they're in, they don't like that the work that I do and that I am like on but your, social your shots media are like, like professional model, right? I feel like they're not like only fans. The no, definitely not. Definitely not. No, nah, you're good. And all your are all your photos like that or no? All of my uh, is it in lingerie? Or, or like, like are they all a bit of like a thirst trap kind of? Are they all very much like yeah? Are they all thirst trap photos or no? I wouldn't say so. No, no, I don't think. I don't worry about I, it. I, don't then. Know. I always just think about like whether it, how someone receives the photo because obviously if I post something, there's I had a situation yeah mm. where I posted a, a campaign picture. Um, and I and I said 
specifically in a very large caption trying to like inform someone of something it was breast cancer awareness yeah um and i was in the campaign for lounge lounge wear okay um and i above all the information i said that it's not just an excuse for women to pay, post pictures and not inform the audience about why okay um and the basically the 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 campaign um gave us a criteria that we had to follow and it was to pose topless but yeah. with with our upper half covered with the with the banner. Oh, that's and you would different, have the though. underwear on. But the guy, one of the guys messaged me and he was like, not an excuse to post a pretty picture. And I was just like, I get is that you? Like the way that you're receiving it or is, is that is that what everyone's receiving it? Do you know what I mean? And I was I thinking, what like, saying. what? Like, I think from the way you've described that, I don't. I think that's that's him. That's him. I yeah. think that's him. Um, if you're, if you're, if not all your photos are thirst trappy. So if you have shots of you doing different stuff, mm. didn't you have? Because have you got like yourself fighting on there? Yes. You're good. Don't worry. Yeah, you know what? This is why I said like when I have mutual grounds with yeah, guys, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. and I talk about about this. It's like okay, I'm yeah, I'm but, not crazy like that. Yeah, and it's it's funny because I get it can be it's hard for women because it's it's like it's like going out when you're when you're dressing to impress a guy, mm. right? Like if you're going on a date or something, it's like okay how much do I reveal? Is this too much? Mm, it's like, yes. if I go dress like this, is he go just going to think I'm a type of girl who's just for fun and I'm really easy and all this stuff. Mm. But if I don't show enough, is he going to find me attractive? All of this stuff. And I get it. The line can be confusing. Yeah. But. <laughs> okay. Like, so for example, right, this is just what I say <laughs> to my female clients. Now, if you're going to date with a guy, okay, the three, there's three body parts that guys find generally the most attractive in women. Mm. Boobs, bum, and legs. Mm. If you're going on a date with a guy- What if you have short legs? <laughs> that's okay. That's, a, yeah, that's all right. That doesn't, that doesn't mean you can't have nice legs. <laughs> you know what? I always think about this because I'm like, I'm so small. It's like- <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't mean you can't have good legs. Like if you train and you work out, like, yeah. you know, if you're athletic, you probably- You know what? I was thinking good. more like lengths. Obviously I'm short. Sure. I get that. Yeah, I guess so. It mm. can be a thing. Um, but like, those are the main things that guys be like, oh, these are, you know, features on women guys find the most attractive. If you're going on a date with a guy, you show a maximum of two, never three. Really? 100%. If you're okay. out here, you've got your cleavage out. That's very You've true, got your bum actually. out and your legs are all this. Nah, you're painting a certain impression. Yeah. But the, 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 Gorgeous, classy, sexy woman. He's like, wow, she's sexy and I respect her. It's like, you're showing one, maybe two. And that's like a maybe two of these things. Yeah. And when I say showing, I mean like showing off those yeah. things. So, cause you don't have to have your legs out to show you've got great legs. Do you mm. know what I mean? You don't have to have your bum out to show you've got a great bum. It could be just wearing something tight or yeah. you know, you've got a cleavage out, whatever something it is. Something that, that flatters your figure, yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, and that's the difference between sexy and what's the other word? Provocative. Yeah. Is what I'll say. Mm. Does that make okay, sense? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Wow. That's so I mean, this is my thoughts. I'm just one man with an opinion, but I think it makes sense. Okay, can I ask one question? Of course you can. Go for okay, it. Okay, if there's one thing that you wish women know, should know about guys, what would it be? Oh. That... Just because a guy will have sex with you doesn't mean he's open to committing to you. Mm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's one that women confuse a lot. Oh, actually, and this kind of ties into that. Men lower their standards for sex. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Essentially, which is basically <laughs> the same thing. It's basically, it's basically the same thing. Um, because, and this sounds very harsh, but I'm just gonna say it how it is. I think a trap that I've seen more women fall into is that they date different guys and stuff. They're like, this guy won't commit to me. This guy won't commit to me. And they get into this cycle of dating guys who mm. they're intimate with, but isn't going to commit to them. Mm. And then they think like, all oh, guys are trash and I don't even want to commit all mm. of this stuff. 
And what and the reason I've seen this happen the most is because the truth is men, women can use sex to be involved with guys who basically are out of their league. Mm. They can use sex to get access to guys that they're not on their level. But then what happens is they do that all the they do that so much that they acclimatize and then they think this caliber of man is my standard. Mm. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Because she's like, I'm having sex with all these guys, but none of them want to commit. Mm. And it's like, because when guys are just looking for sex, their standards are much lower than what they'd look for for a relationship. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And the same thing for guys, it's like a guy spending a lot of money and taking girls out on dates who don't want to be intimate with them. It's like, well, I'm taking her out on dates. I'm talking to her. I'm giving, giving her all my time, energy and finances, but she doesn't want to be intimate with me. And it's yeah. like, because you're using money, time and attention to punch above your league, bro. Mm. Do you see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that makes sense. And so I think if many women understood the difference between sexual attention and romantic intention, I think they'd find the relationships that they want. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's and sometimes good. they just want to have fun. So it's like, I know if you're a girl and you just want to have sex, you're going to choose the hottest guy you can, mm. right? That makes sense. Yeah. But guys, generally, <laughs> you know how women want a guy to be on her level or above mm. in terms of like economic status and income and all that? Yes. Guys want a girl on his level and above in terms of attractiveness. Really? 100%. What about 100. like, because you, you know what? I feel like a lot of guys sometimes prefer cuteness over sexy oh yeah no i'm not saying she has to be sexy like he can find her really cute like she's a really attractive cute girl oh, okay, yeah, yeah, do you know yeah. what i mean yeah so like he can be like wow like yeah she's really cute do <laughs> yeah. you know what i mean yeah but um but the same way a girl wants a guy on her level and above in terms of like economic standing guys want a girl on his level or above in terms of attractiveness yeah so I that's why that. it's really common like when we, yeah. we see it the most common in like celebrities right we'll see an average guy but he's a super successful celebrity with the most gorgeous girl but no one knows who she is mm. she's not on his level of success do you see what i'm saying yeah but he's nowhere near as attractive as she is yeah and that's because they both fulfill each, each other's hypergamous nature okay yeah do you know what i mean yeah that makes sense and that's why it happens like <laughs> I was talking to a female friend a few months ago. She was like, oh, this guy, uh, she was talking about a friend of hers. This guy was in a relationship with this girl for a year. He got on his fitness journey, started getting into really great shape, became more attractive and stuff. And she had, hadn't done that. She wasn't doing that. She wasn't mm. growing in herself. And so kind of her words, not mine. Objectively, he became more attractive than she, than her. Mm. Um, And she was like, yeah, I don't know why they broke up. I was like, it's because he became more attractive than her. That's why. Because mm. now he can start attracting girls on his level. Does that make sense? Yeah. That so makes if he's not looking to settle down, they don't yeah. have kids and you know, they're like in the mid twenties. So it's kind of, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And if she wasn't looking to grow in herself in that way, then for him, it's like, ah, the same way you're like, I want a guy to grow in himself in certain ways, the yeah. way I am. Yeah. When it comes to physical fitness, attractiveness, guys are exactly the same with women in that sense yeah hope you really enjoyed that clip if you want to watch the full episode where that clip is from then we need to click right here where you can watch the full episode and if you're ready to claim your man today enroll in my program below and i'll see you there wishing you an amazing day